Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're gonna to be talking about neck exercises for your thyroid gland. I'm gonna be going over these exercises with you and I want you to at least consider doing them every single day so you can get the benefits that we're gonna be talking about. When it comes to exercising your neck for your thyroid gland, we're not doing anything specific to the thyroid gland itself, but what we're doing is we're improving the anatomy and the physiology around the thyroid gland to improve the function of the thyroid gland in an indirect way. All right, now we can do this through a several different uh, methods, and so I'm gonna talk about those real, brief, real briefly, but I wanna spend most of the time walking you through the exercises, which are not that hard. It takes about three minutes every day, so I know it's something that you can do. Let's quickly talk about the benefits of these, and then we'll actually get into the exercises. So number one, one of the most important things is you get improved blood flow into the thyroid gland by working out the musculature in the area. And of course, blood flow is what brings nutrients into the thyroid gland to produce more thyroid hormone and to protect your, your thyroid gland and to bring in things that you need to reduce inflammation and so on. So you really need to be optimizing that blood flow. Number two, we have an improvement in venous flow out of the thyroid gland, which helps to circulate thyroid hormone through your entire body. Number three, we have improved lymphatic flow out of the thyroid gland, and the lymphatic system is removing the waste from your thyroid gland that your body doesn't really want or need those things in there anymore, so the lymphatic system removes them. And then we have um, these exercises can bring a balance to your neck, and by balancing the muscles of the front side of the neck as well as the back side, you may help with things like headaches, trigger points, um, and even neck pain. So we have a lot of benefits that you can get by doing these exercises. So let's talk about these exercises. I'll actually walk you through them. So real briefly, this is how you would do it every single day. We, there are six exercises here that I would like you to do, or at least consider doing, and you're gonna do them for about 30 seconds each. So it's about you know 30 seconds times six exercises, three minutes every day, piece of cake, right? It doesn't take a lot of time. And once you watch this a couple times, uh, it'll be ingrained in your memory and you'll be able to do it. So let's talk about these. I have six of them. I've named them. You don't really have to go over. You don't have to remember these names it's just for me to help remember to remind you how to do them. So the first exercise is we have the up down, right? And this is very, very simple, very easy to do. So I, but as you do this, I want you to think about your neck staying pretty as still as it can. Okay. So as you do this, you're going to look up and then you're going to look straight down. But as you come down, I want you to kind of keep your chin close to your neck. So like so. Okay. So you go about that speed for 30 seconds, okay? And you can kind of think about looking down your nose at your chest as you kind of come down. So I don't want you to push your head way down like this. That's not the way to do it. Neck stays, your, your neck kind of stays still and you look just straight down, okay? So that's gonna be working some uh, different muscles than these other areas. So next we have the side to side. This one's really easy. As you do the side to side, think about bringing your ear to the shoulder that you're going to be looking at. So we're doing, when we go to the left, the left ear goes to the left shoulder like so. Okay, left and right, real easy. 30 seconds on this one. Next, we have your shake your head no. Really easy to do, right? You're just shaking your head no. So keep your neck still, and then you just look back and forth. Okay? Very easy. You do that for 30 seconds. Then we have the forward head pulse. Now, this one gets a little, these next two are a little bit tricky, but still not very hard. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sliding our head forward and backward. So keep the neck still. Slide back and forth. Okay? 30 seconds like that one on that one. Next, we have the vertical head slide. This one is actually a little bit tricky, so I'd recommend as you do it, look at yourself in the mirror because it will take some time to kind of figure out how to do it. So you're going to keep your head and you're just going to translate it left and right like so. Okay, it's going to take some practice to get that one. It took me a long time and I'm not very good at it either. But as you look at yourself in the mirror, it'll become a little bit easier. Then the last one we have what I call the around the world. Really simple, okay? Just to bring your head like so. Okay, and 30 seconds like that. So as you do these six exercises, you're gonna spend 30 seconds on each one and you can just go straight back to back to back. Now, as you kind of figure out and remember how to do these, you may have to watch the video a couple times to nail those down, but pretty soon you'll be able to do them automatically and you'll just remember to do it. I like to do it right before bed. If you wanna do it right before you wake up, that's fine, doesn't really matter, but do it every single day. And you will find, if you are like most people, that these muscles just aren't getting worked especially the muscles in your neck, as much as you might think. And just, you'll notice too, by based off of how much uh, mobility you have as you're doing these exercises. And as you do them, you should, should see improvement in blood flow, lymphatic flow, venous drainage, all those things that we talked about, and you should indirectly be able to impact thyroid function. Not in a huge or dramatic way, but we're talking about just bringing balance to the entire area. And as you do these things, as you stack other therapies on top of each other, take your thyroid medication if you need it, use supplements, detox if you need it, get more sleep, exercise, et cetera, all of these things will help you to feel better. So if you have any questions about this, let me know below. Um, otherwise, that's all I have for you guys today, and I will see you in the next one.